Welcome back to Heart of Health. We've been talking about words like subluxation, wires, and nerves, and communications, and, and part of this chiropractic journey, Lisa, is understanding how the nerves communicate with the rest of the body, and we want good communication. Yes. And that seems to be very important. Um, the next question is, is a great question that comes us from the state of Illinois. It says, my chiropractor wants to do an adjustment. We talked a little bit about that. Um, is this painful and what can I expect? So let's talk about the physical part of an adjustment. I think you've sort of explained about how we want to get the nerves communicating better yes. to get it back into homeostasis. But what is this? How do you accomplish this? Well, through palpation and x-ray, we find exactly what direction now, now the bone has gone. Stop there. What's this palpation for palp What's that palpation? mean? What's that for people? I don't, they, what they don't know. Palpation is my hands-on. Oh, you actually touch somebody? I touch their backs. Okay. I touch their necks. I'll touch their hips. I feel every single bone in their body, in their back, individually. And through touching thousands of spines, I know what is normal and what is not. I feel for a lack of motion, a lack of joint play. And when I find what direction that bone has gone in, then I give a very specific line of drive force, very gentle, to realign that bone. It does not hurt. If someone is afraid then and they're tight, it might be a little stressful on them. Mm -hmm. But actually, the adjustment relieves stress within the spine. Now, how do you, I mean, you just press with your thumb or your fingers, or is it like, you know, you've heard about, how is this different than like therapeutic massage, for instance? Well, therapeutic massage is working on the muscles. I'm working on the actual nerve and the, and the bones that surround the nerve. And with actual my hand, there's many different types of adjustment techniques that's out there. Some are using little machines, some mm -hmm. use your hands, some the tables will drop. But we, it's just we use pretty much our fingertips, the heel of our hand, or right in this area to, to give that line of drive. So let me see, so an adjustment is you feel the spine, Yes. And, the, and we have the spinal cord there, and then we have all these nerves coming out. Yes. And some of them aren't where they're supposed to be, and it's probably causing us to mess up homeopathy. We're having pain, all sorts of problems. Homeostasis, I got the word wrong. And you're going to take your fingers, because you have experience. How do you know if it's accomplishing what you want to accomplish? You know, how do you know? You know, like I can measure a, a lab work or performance on a treadmill. How do you know that you're getting this nerve aligned the way you want it to be? How do you, is it just experience or, or is it, does people feel better? Or do they say, oh, it feels better? Or do you, you just know that this is the way, based on this feel, the way the nerve should lie? Well, I know how the bone is supposed to lie. Mm -hmm. I'm very persistent. I will make sure that the bone is lined up. It's the patients that let me know that it's working. It's the, their testimonies. It's the miracles that happen within the office. So, so, so after you do this adjustment, you line up things the way it should be, they're going to tell you they feel better, right? They should be feeling better. And, and, and that goes along, the, if you go up and down the nerve, the whole spinal cord, is that what you do, go up and down the whole cord or just part of the cord? I will check the entire cord, but I won't move everything. I'll move typically two primaries and maybe a secondary. And then, and then what you do is after that, the person would tell you whether they feel better the next trip. Yes. Now, what if they don't feel better? Do, do, do you still feel like it's successful if they come back and say, listen, I feel about the same? Or does it take time to get to your goals? Or It depends on the severity of the case. Okay. The longer you've had it, the longer it's going to take to fix. And what happens is we have to retrain the muscles around your spine to hold it in the right spot. Okay? Just like working out in the gym, you have to retrain your body to get your results. We have to do that same thing, but in a different manner. When you don't have proper motion in the spine, that sets you up for arthritis in the spine. And that's one of the things that we want to prevent, and we can sure control if it has already began. You know why this is so fascinating for heart doctors? Because we know that any stress on the body causes inflammation. Yes. 
inflammation is bad. It causes all these plaques to rupture. It can trigger to heart attacks. It hurts everything in the body. So just uh, dealing with pain and lining things up, that's going to decrease stress and infl inflammatory markers. So you can see if we can decrease stress, and this is making sense to me now, if we're making stre stress decrease, we can treat infections, we can prevent heart disease, all sorts of things. Exactly. Wow, this is sort of exciting. Jim, the power that made the body heals the body. We just have to remove the interference that we as a population puts into our bodies. And that's what we're trying to accomplish here in Heart of Health. We have healers from all walks of life and there's a place for chiropractic care, there's a place for um, modern medicine, you know, there's a place for putting a pacemaker in or exactly. stand. Exactly. It's just un getting people to understand. Some people don't understand the scope of what you do and the science behind it. You know, I've heard some people say, oh, it's, you know, I can't believe that, they're just going to hurt you. And they don't really take the time to learn about it. A lot of people think that we're just for pain. Right. Well, it's not for pain. It's for natural health. It's for overall well-being. And Jim, the miracles that I've seen in the office where women have come in who have tried everything possible to conceive a child and nothing has worked. And they've come in, we've removed the nerve interference, and they've become pregnant. These are miracles wow. that we see in the office all the time. Wow, so just getting the chemistry, the made God aligned, this just helps the whole system out. Exactly. Well, you know, that sort of makes sense because the nervous system has all these incredible feedback systems. You know, pain causes this to happen, and this hormone goes up and that. It's mm -hmm. very, very interesting. In our next system, we're going to talk about some of the reasons people come to chiropractors, and specifically we want to talk about how you, how God has used chiropractor to help heal people and bring them to a close relationship to them. Um, stay with us. We'll be right back after break, and if you might have a question um, regarding chiropractic care, um, go to our website, heartwiseministries.org, and send us an email. not control us. It will never break us, define us, or keep us still. Because arthritis can't beat us if we beat it first. In the fight against arthritis, you need a weapon. What's yours? Visit the Arthritis Foundation at fightarthritispain.org. I'm Dr. James Markham, and I talk to patients every day who want to know the truth in healthcare. On our website, heartwiseministries.org, you can have your questions answered. You can read my blog where I talk about interesting and controversial subjects in medicine. You might choose to go to the radio or television sections and learn more about all sorts of health topics. Take the time and go to heartwiseministries.org. You can easily spend $90 on an expensive meal out. How about investing $89.94 in your future? Just think about the possibility of coming off those prescription pills and getting rid of all the side effects. Think about feeling better than you have ever felt in your life. This is all possible for you. For only $89.94, you will receive a seven-part DVD series, Weight Management by the Book, a 30-lesson workbook with over 100 recipes, and if ordered today, Exercise tubes will be included for free to help with your journey. There are many programs available, but this unique program has identified the truth about how to manage weight. This program is not available in stores. This limited offer will not last long. Pick up the phone now and dial 877-504-9628. Operators are standing by. This call will change your life forever. Two words for you. Pop quiz. Ready? Name any funny movie. A drama. Name a mystery. And one more thing. Name the movie your kids saw today in science class. Know what really matters. Know about your kid's school. And know about your kid. Find out 100 ways to know more, do more. Welcome back to Heart of Health. We've been learning about what doctors of chiropractic do with Dr. Lisa Morris, and I have learned a lot today just talking to you, and I'm sure the viewers have learned just as much talking to you. But you know, 
in a healing ministry, I'm very interested in the spiritual aspects of healing. And we've touched on it. You've seen miracles happen. Lisa, you know, all of us are healers. You know, how has God changed you and used you to help heal and spread some of his love around the world? Because at the heart of health is love. And, and as we show love, what's some of the neat things that God's doing? How do you see yourself as helping to heal the world? Oh, wow, Jim. That's, that's a big question. That is. And I'm so but, passionate. But I, but I know you think about it sometime. And now we can't go on and on. But how does God work through you? He works through my hands. He really does. I was chosen to be one of his healers through my hands, as you were through cardiology. And when people come into the office, we pray together. I have on my wall, we move the bone and God does the healing. I have it outside mm -hmm. on a sign. People know that when they walk into the office, that God is in there. We pray publicly in there. And when people come in and they have health issues and they're down and they're depressed and then they start feeling better and we explain to them that the power that made them, that created them, is the power that's healing them. I'm not doing anything. I am using my hands through God. Or I should say, He is using my hands to heal. And it's just, it's incredible. It gives us goosebumps. We see people every day who accomplish things that they thought they would never accomplish. From getting off of insulin with diabetes to, I can give you countless, countless wow. ones. Well, that's one of the, the reasons we wanted to talk with about healers, because I think sometimes in our, in our world, we don't talk about at the top of the healthcare tree should be our God, our, our real healer. And when we don't do that, how can any healthcare provider give the ultimate treatment, the ultimate healing power? Exactly. I want to thank you, Lisa, for joining us on At the Heart of Health. I also want to thank our viewers, and I hope something valuable has been learned today. And if you want to send us a question, go to our website, heartwiseministries.org. And God bless you today, and thank you for joining us.